Well, Martinez <coughs> period out with his injury that he got has been confirmed. First broken by Gastonel from Argentina and then Fabricio Romano. Then the club of Man United went ahead to put out an official statement in here onto the different social medias. Welcome to the United Matters channel. How are you guys? I know you're watching us from. I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash like button, comment and share. If I really watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Rock and David is my name and hope you guys are really having a fantastic stay wherever you are. And let's see close to 200 likes watching this video. Wishing Lisandro Martinez a quick recovery and we'll be all arms waiting for him to return as he is the best center back on the left side of the central defense of Manchester United. And you saw to it that even though he's not playing with Rafael Varane, at least you see to it that he's really doing lots of things. Though Harry Maguire went ahead to obviously show us that there is always a lapse every time Lisandro Martinez doesn't partner with either Linderov or Rafael Varane. So... We are here to obviously discuss this and we thank God for the gift of life, the Muslims, Baraklao Fikum. And don't forget to subscribe to see to it that we hit 17,000 subscribers before the end of this month. Now, um, this guy is really a close guy and huge journalist coming through in Argentina. He's known as Gaston Edol. He told us that Lisandro Martinez has a sprained collateral ligament. The worst, the worst scenario was ruled out. It is between a month and a half and two months of recovery. He don't, he doesn't have, he doesn't have to have a surgery. That's what he would want to say about Lisandro Martinez. Then officially it was the club of Man United coming out and really putting out a very huge statement about Lisandro Martinez. They said Lisandro Martinez has sustained an injury to the medical collateral ligament in his knee and is expected to be out of action for at least eight weeks the argentine defender left behind left the field in the 71st minute of our three nil win over west Ham at old trafford on sunday we all wish leisure a speedy recovery and look forward to seeing him back on the pitch in this season now if you are a united fan and you know exactly what this guy means to the club of man united you have all the reasons to worry Two months, it means you start counting from the game of Aston Villa. And let me obviously come in here and read to you the number of games that Lisandro Martinez is going to miss for the club of Manchester United. Because <clears throat> two months means he's set to return on the 5th of April. That is it. <coughs> so, Aston Villa, Luton Town 2, Fulham 3. Um, FA Cup 4, Man City 5, Everton 6, um, Sheffield 7, Brentford 8, Chelsea away 9, Liverpool at Old Trafford 10. Um, oh, he might return when you're playing Liverpool. So, he might miss out on 9 or 10 games for the club of Manchester United. That is Lisandro Martinez for you. And this injury comes in at a very bad time when the team of Man United had just gone ahead to get to click. And we all know that he is really very important in the way we play from the back. You know that very well because of his press, re press resistance. And we've gone ahead to keep very many clean sheets when this guy is in action playing for the club of Manchester United. And it's really very important for every fan of United to really get worried about how our central defense is going to really look. And I think for the remaining defenders, you get the best central defense partnership I would recommend would be Varane and Linderov. That is it because I've seen them playing very many games together and they've looked They've looked good and they complement each other very well. All else, Luke Shaw should be played into onto the left side of the central defense, and then um and then Veran played on the right side of the central defense. Then we have to put it that Tarel Malasia really comes in through. But to have a strong defense, all you need to do is simple. Rafael Veran and Evans all um Linderov. I don't really trust Harry Maguire. That is it. 
I don't trust him in that defense. You saw him when you're playing Aston Villa. <clears throat> he gifted away two goals, but we are lucky enough that the first one, Emerson Palmieri, went ahead to hit outside. And then Diego Delo closed down onto Gerard Bowen a lot. And Gerard Bowen couldn't compose himself to obviously shoot at goal. And by the time he really shot at goal, there was a blocking slide, only sliding block coming through from Diego Dallo that went ahead to obviously intercept that ball and it went into a corner. Now, if it wasn't that, we would have gone ahead to really draw this game or lose it because of a single player. I've seen rumors that he might not be physically fit. Who saw Lisandro Martinez when you're playing <coughs> Tottenham Hotspur? When he came off the bench and played 30 minutes, he hadn't really played any minute or competitive football in a while and he came back and really looked great. But for Lisandro Martinez, he had been out for more than how Harry Maguire has been out because Harry Maguire got his injury towards, towards, towards the I think the start of December. And after that, he really moved out and he has just returned towards the end of January. That's when he came back. So that means for him, he was really out known for as long as Martinez was because Martinez just played three games for Man United. And uh, were they three? All four? games for Man United and then he really pulled out of that game when you're playing against Arsenal and a metatarsal injury was confirmed ever since then. I think that was around the 5th of September. Now October, November, December, January. He has been out for four months and he got back and he really looked good. So being good doesn't need someone to be really fit because defending is an idea and it's all about your brain. Look at Rafael Varane, you know. He is one of the best game readers in the central defense I've ever seen in the world. You know, Harry Maguire is really a calamity. And I don't want to see anyone coming in the, in the comment section telling us that we have Harry Maguire is going to do the job. I really understand. By the time he really got out injured, he was really playing very well. He was really putting in interceptions and everything. But when you look at the two times that, he expo that we are exposed, I really feel like he shouldn't start into that central defense for the club of Man United when you're playing against Aston Villa. Against Aston Villa, we could replace Lisandro Martinez with Linderov. Why? Linderov is a press-resistant player. Everything that Lisandro Martinez does on the ball, this guy does it. The only thing is that Lisandro Martinez has very many line-breaking passes. But to be an ice-cold defender in the central defense, Linderov can give it to you 100% as Lisandro Martinez gives it to you. Though Lisandro Martinez takes it a little bit to the next level where he obviously approaches the area of the enemy and the enemy fears to obviously go ahead and obviously attack him because he's really swift when it comes to really coming up with the ball or obviously coming up with a tactic that will obviously take you off. So for me, I don't want to see Harry Moga in this occasion. I would love to see Linderov and Rafael Varane play the game of Aston Villa and play in the games are going to come because we are not here to lose any point. God has gone ahead to grant us another chance of really beating one of the teams that are really ahead of us. And we need to do this. When we play Tottenham Hotspur, you know that very well, we failed to beat Tottenham Hotspur. That is it. On the 14th of January, we failed to beat them. If we had gone ahead to beat them, we would have been now four points behind them but we are still six points behind them because we shared one point and one point when we when the visitors were trafford so <clears throat> aston villa is eight points behind us we've gone ahead to grant god has granted us another chance to obviously narrow that narrow that uh that gap to how many to five and you narrow it to five you get another the moment they draw and you win one they'll have what we call a They'll have what? They'll have what we call a... What will they have? They'll be having three points ahead of Man United and the pressure will increase. So this is the game where we need players in that central defense who are really good and are not going to mess up the place. But I know with Ten Hag and having gone ahead to start Harry Maguire in the game of West Ham at Old Trafford, he's going to start him in the game of Aston Villa. So... Lisandro Martinez is going to be out for for four, sorry, for eight weeks. But that's really very, very bad of him that he has just gone ahead to return from injury, played some 
three four consecutive games and he hasn't really lasted for how for the long would have gone ahead to want him to last here at the club of Manchester United that is um Lisandro Martinez for you and I feel for him by the way because this is not what you wouldn't really want your player to go through when you look at this photo of Lisandro Martinez and how he looked when he was really injured it it's it spoke volume it spoke volume because he was really nasty and felt like I want to cry and this is him down on the ground obviously feeling the pain and that's what the injury assessment has been given to us by the physios for the club of Manchester United whether he can miraculously come back in a nick of time we wait and see how that is going to happen but Rokan David remains my name your reactions to Lisandro Martinez out for two months injured are welcome in the comment section below I sign out for now. See you later and I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The Muslims Baraklao Fikum. See you in the next two, three hours. We are just gonna watch the game of Brentford hosting Manchester City at their stadium in London. Ciao, ciao.